She was an amazing woman because she was able to just be so relentless and so determined. I think it's very hard for us to even conceive of how back in you know, the 1870s, when I mean, the campaign for suffrage took 14 years until the vote, she, with a group of women, because she was supported by other women, actually sat around in someone's house and said, we can get the all-male parliament to agree votes for women. The National Council of Women said, OK, women get to be able to keep their children upon divorce. Married women get to be able to own property in their own name. Equal pay for work of equal value. And here we are 125 years later, some of those things we take for granted, and one we still don't have. The ability for women to vote was actually given six weeks before people had to be enrolled for the next election. And so in a way, it was set up for failure. She mobilised with her supporters in that six weeks at a time when it took days to get from Christchurch to Auckland. When the rolls closed for voting, six weeks later, 75% of women then living in New Zealand were registered to vote. I believe that there is nothing that we as Kiwi women today could imagine doing that is more impressive than what she and some of her colleagues in the National Council of Women achieved back in the 1890s.